Alright, so here's a video I wanted to make for a while. Gas light is on. I'm going to go top this thing off, fill it all the way up to the brim. 4.2 gallons from the factory, I believe it is. I'll look up the exact number and put it here in the video just in case I'm wrong. But yeah, 4.2 gallons. I think the bike can get around 30 something miles per gallon, maybe 40 if you're riding it like a little grandma. Um, <laughs> but I really want to see how far can you push this thing truly before it'll actually run out of gas. I, not that many people I think have been ballsy enough to really run one of these empty. What I'm going to do is right now, I'm going to stop at the gas station, fill it up completely to the brim. And since I'm still kind of in this break-in period, I'm at uh, 435 miles, something like that. Um, over the course of the next 100 miles or so that I have to put on it anyway, I'll run it all the way to completely empty. But I think it's going to be very interesting. Push this thing all the way to the edge. Um, I would not recommend doing this. Please don't get stranded out there on your own <laughs> with no gas in your bike. But for science and for the betterment of the entire motorcycling world, I am going to do this experiment for you. That's just how selfless of a person I am. Alrighty. Here we are at the friendly neighborhood Chevron. But let's fill this thing up to the absolute brim. Obviously not overfilling, but you can see there, hopefully on the video, it's getting real close. There you go, boys. That is one full tank on a Street Fighter V4. Like, let's take a look at this. It thinks I'm averaging 40.1. I just put three gallons in. The tank is apparently 4.2 gallons. So, in theory, according to this calculation that it does, I should be able to get 160 miles. I'm pretty sure that's not true, though. Um, so, that's what we're here to find out. Trip odometer reset. Let's go. That is 51.6 miles from Orange County down to lovely north of San Diego. All right, so I came up here to Rancho Santa Fe Cars and Coffee. Unbelievable lineup of cars. Got this pretty sick Superleggera rolling by. I'm at about 70 something miles on the clock right now. Typically the light will come on around 85, 90 miles, so keep a close eye on that. I uh, don't have my helmet cam on me today. Maybe on the way home today the light will come on, but still got a ways to go. Just giving you the update. Oh god, it's pretty. Okay, so the light officially came on on the way home. Six miles ago the light came on. 95 miles total, so. So I'm gonna keep going. Obviously all the way until the thing runs out. So 95 miles in. My prediction is 110 to 120 miles. Not sure exactly what's gonna happen, but I've tried to make it a nice mixture of both freeway and surface street riding. I put about 60 miles on it on the freeway and the rest since then has been all surface street. So it's a good blend. Um, again, the bike on its computer claims about 40 miles per gallon. It doesn't seem like that's the case <laughs> based on the fact that it's a four gallon tank and the numbers that I've seen so far. But doing this for you guys, for science, I know most people don't wanna run their bike out. So I'm gonna take one for the team and figure this out. All right, so it's a couple days later, finally back out on the bike. Damn, look at that KTM Adventure. Those are so cool. Um, so I'm probably not gonna run out on today's ride. I've only put another few miles on it since the last time we spoke. Damn, he didn't even give me a look, man. I was about to give him a wave for that sick ass bike. He must hate Ducati owners or something. For this latter part of the experiment, I'm actually trying to stick mainly to surface streets. So obviously I don't wanna be on a freeway whenever I run out of gas, so. I think today I'll probably get it up to like 20 miles on the trip fuel odometer, which will put me at a little over 100 total, I think. And then tomorrow I'll probably go out with my little reserve tank of gas, my little one gallon tank, and I'll actually run the thing out. Tune back in tomorrow for the uh, drama. Sorry to leave you in suspense, but tomorrow is the day. All right, boys, today's the day. I got my little gas can. I'm gonna go fill her up. Should've fit about a gallon of gas, so when I do actually end up getting stranded, I'll at least have some gas to fill up. Should get me to the closest gas station, so exciting times ahead. All right, now there's a couple points I want to address here about this running out of fuel thing that I'm working on. Yes, I know there's gonna be people out there like, but Kevin, 
you know it's terrible for the bike to let it run out of fuel. You know starving the fuel pump is going to damage it, blah, blah, blah. Look, okay, I get it. I know it's not the best thing for the fuel pump. I'm just doing it one time for science as a service to the entire Ducati community to know exactly how far you can really push the thing before it actually runs out. And yes, I understand. It's not absolutely optimal. It's not the best thing I could do for my fuel pump. But guys, I think it's worth it for the learning experience for all of us. So I just wanted to nip that one in the bud. And I'm sure there's still going to be comments below that say that regardless because you won't have watched this far into the video. But screw you if you're that person. The next thing that I want to talk about is this is all being done before the break-in service. And I do know that there's a different weight of oil in there. There might be some like metal shavings floating around in there. The fuel economy tends to get a little bit better after that first break-in service is done. So I might have to redo this later on down the line, but I still think it'll be a pretty good baseline. It'll be a pretty interesting data point. As of now, I'm at 17.3 miles on the trip fuel odometer and 106 miles total since I started this whole excursion. So let's keep her going. I'm about to stop by the gas station to fill up my little one gallon tank. All right. Honestly, you probably don't even need to fill this thing all the way up. Give it some room to breathe. Alright boys, time for me to meet my fate. Whoa, okay, okay. Okay, I just had like a big cut out there. Oh, I think I'm running out, I think I'm running out. Oh boy. <laughs> it's like randomly cutting in and out. Wow, look at that. Okay, 26.1 miles on the trip fuel. Let me turn my blinkers on. Okay, it's still idling. It's still idling, but I can't rev. Oh, okay, there, it's completely dead. <laughs> wow, that is amazing, dude. That was like a lot more dramatic than I was expecting. It kind of ran out right as I was rolling on the throttle in second gear. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Let's go over these final stats here. 26.1, 26.1 miles since the fuel light came on. 115 miles on the tank since I filled it up. Okay, so the bike is saying that I got 39.8 miles per gallon, um, which I believe on a 4.2 gallon tank already is well off from reality. So I'll have to do the math and put it up on screen here, but there you go. I think for good measure, let me like rock it around a little bit, see if I can slosh some fuel around and see if it'll restart. No, yeah, it won't even restart kind of wanted to catch for half a second, but no. Um, I'm gonna fill her back up and head back home. It takes an awful long time to get these 0 0.7 gallons out, jeez. And let's cross our fingers that this thing starts easily. <laughs> I don't see any reason why it wouldn't, but it's a new Italian superbike. They have a mind of their own. How much cranking will it take? Oh, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> no harm, no foul. Got our gas in there and we are good to go. Dang, you put E85 in here? It makes some real power. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much a wrap for this video. Uh, hopefully that's helpful to you if you're a Street Fighter V4 and or Panigale V4 owner. I'm sure the Panigale is marginally more fuel economical just because it's a little bit more aerodynamic, but I think it should give you a pretty good idea of how far you can really go on that trip fuel. I know I was always a little bit nervous about how far I could push it. I think prior to this video I had pushed it all the way up to like 20 miles, so that's how I knew I could at least get that far. There's the uh, cold hard fact for you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy these kind of fun little experiments, let me know in the comments below. Again, I would really, really, really appreciate a like, a subscribe, um, you hitting the notification bell, telling your friends about this channel, and please, of course, check out our products at DucatiSpacers.com. Lots more coming down the pipeline, so keep tuning in, guys. Till the next one. Peace.